Good morning boys and girls. Today is Tuesday and we are going to review our letters X, Y, and Z because we're at the end of our alphabet. We've studied the letter Z yesterday. So this book is called My XYZ Book. So this is a good review of our letter X, Y, and Z. Little X had a box. I will find things that begin with my letter, he said. I will put them into my sound box. Little X found an X-ray machine. Excellent, said Little X. With my X-ray machine, I can see inside things. I will take an X-ray of my hands. This is the X-ray picture. Excellent, he said. The X-ray shows the bones in my hands. He put the picture into his sound box. I will take an X-ray of my feet, he said. This is the X-ray picture. Excellent, said little X. The X-ray shows the bones in my feet. Then he put the X-ray picture and the X-ray machine into his sound box. And he said, now I'll call my friend. Little Y. I will see if he has a box. I do, said little Y. I will find something that begins with my Y sound. I will put it into my sound box. Little Y found a yo-yo. It was a yellow yo-yo. He tried to make the yo-yo go down and up, but the string was too short. Little Y found some yarn. He tied it to the string. The yellow yo-yo went down. The yellow yo-yo went up. Little Y turned his box upside down. He stood on his box with the yo-yo and he said, now I will call my friend. I little Z and see if she has a box. And of course I do, said little Z. I will find things that begin with my Z sound. I will put them into my sound box. She found a zebra and another zebra and another zebra. Little Z caught the three zebras and tried to put them into a box, but the zebras jumped out of the box. Zip, zip, zip. They ran, ran zigzag, look at them going zigzag, down the road. I will catch you zippy zebras, called little Z. And she did. Then she took the zebras to the zoo. In this story, little X placed the letter X in front of the word ray to make the word X-ray. But in some words, little X has the Z sound. Can you read this word with a Z sound? Xylophone, and you guys made a xylophone with Miss Valerie. Can you read these words with little Y? Yard, yak, and yacht. And can you read these words with little Z? Zinnia, zip, and zero. And there's all of our letters that we've learned this year. So let's look at our poster that we made yesterday. And you can see we have our Z words. We have Zoom, Zucchini, Zookeeper, Ziti, Zebra, Zach, Zipper, Zigzag, Zoo, Zacchaeus, Zeke, and Zap. And then we have the number zero. Remember we had our friend Zero the Hero come? And then here's our letter Z. Remember it's a short, long, and then short. So we go across, diagonal, and across again to make those Z's. All right, so we learned about the story of Noah and how he took his animals on the boat to save them from a giant flood. Now he was on that boat for 40 days and this is the number 40. So we're gonna count first of all by ones all the way to 40 and then we'll count by tens just like we learned to do at school. So we, he was on that boat for 40 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, 
37, 38, 39, and 40. So he was on the boat for 40 days because it rained 40 days and 40 nights. So let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, and 40. Good job. So one of the things that we're going to make this week is a rain gauge. And you're going to need these things. You'll need a paper towel holder. You'll need some aluminum foil. You'll need some duct tape. I have zebra print duct tape. And you'll need some rice. Now the first thing you're going to do is take your duct tape, just kind of a small piece, and close up the end of your paper towel holder so that nothing can get through. If you hold it up to the light, you can't see through it. So you stick that on there. And then you might want to take your markers and decorate. You can decorate it with dots or zigzags or whatever you want to put on to make your rain gauge look, or your rain stick look really pretty. After you have done that, you're going to take a small piece of foil and you're going to twist it and just kind of take it like this, twist it, and then you're going to put that inside your rain stick. Then you're going to take some rice and you're going to pour your rice, you don't need too much, into the tube. Then. You're going to take some more duct tape and you'll put that over the edge, the bottom of the tube. You might want to put a couple of pieces on so that none of the rice comes out because the rice is really small. So stick that on there. All right, and then listen. Can hear the rain. If you shake it, it makes really loud rain. If you do it softly, it makes really quiet raindrops. So that's the rain stick to remind you of the story of Noah and how he was on his ark for 40 days. There you go. All right, friends, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again for our another video on Wednesday and then we'll have our Zoom call on Thursday. Don't forget to make your zoo animal. I'm going to be showing you how to make a zoo animal tomorrow and um, don't forget our estimation drawer, which is right here. So remember, you're going to be thinking about the number of counters in our estimation jar and then making that zoo animal for show and tell on Thursday. Hey, have a great day. I love you all. Bye.